Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks for you and welcome back to my kitchen. I am taking my leftover chicken and rice and I'm gonna turn it into two new meals that no one will even care that they're eating leftovers. We're gonna have empanadas and I realized why not always have an empanada when you have leftovers? Shove whatever inside that pocket and fry it up. And then also we're gonna do an impromptu casserole that I'm just throwing ingredients I have in the fridge and making a delicious chicken casserole. So stay tuned. Okay, let's look at our ingredients. So we have leftover chicken. Mine happens to be smoked, but no worries if it's leftover rotisserie. I've got leftover rice. And then I happen to have some cheese. I wish I had more like of a Hispanic cheese, but I don't. But I have a cream of arde, which will melt really well and quickly. So we're gonna use that. And then I just bought these um, empanada dough discs in the um, freezer section at my grocery store. And I kept them in the freezer and let them thaw overnight and now they're all ready to go. And that's as simple as this is going to be, is putting this in here and frying it. Okay, the ingredient I forgot. This is um, 99 cents at Walmart. Um, I love this stuff. This is guava paste. Um, 99 cents in the Hispanic section, you know, by the salsas, tortillas, all that. Uh, I only have half of it. So it's it's guava paste. It's it's really odd to eat. It's kind of like eating a fruit chew. Um, you know, it's it's you know, it's a thick substance. I think there's gelatin in there. And this a little slice of this in your empanada adds a little sweetness. Oh man, it is good. So we're gonna put that in there too. Okay, time to assemble. We are outside because we don't like frying in the house. We have very sensitive noses. So I'm gonna take a little of this guava paste and put that down. My oil is heating. I'm gonna put a little bit of cheese. Actually, I don't want it in the middle. I want it to the side. And then, you know, guys, this is my first time making empanadas, you know. So this one's gonna be chicken, cheese, and guava. Let's see if that's enough. Yeah, it looks like the perfect amount in there. Then we need to make sure to seal the edges. So just that'll help with the sealing making sure we're sealed and it kind of looks cute. It looks a little more professional. Okay, and these are individually, they have these plastic wraps on them, which is really nice so they don't stick. So this next one we'll try a little chicken, a little rice, and some beans. Hopefully I didn't put too much in. Okay, looks like it's all gonna fit. This one's definitely fuller. And that's all you do. Do that with whatever filling you wanna, if you wanna put ground beef in there, go ahead. Eat your leftovers, guys. Oops, I put it on the plastic. Don't forget to take the plastic off in between each layer. <laughs> that would not have tasted too good. Okay. We're putting number one in. Be careful, don't hurt yourself. Um, we may want to turn the heat up a bit now that I see that in there. Uh, flip that over again. That was our tester, that uh, disc there. We were just seeing if our oil was hot enough. So I can, I'm just gonna leave that oil. Oh, yeah. oh, nice. Look at that. Okay, there we go. Deliciousness. Put a little bit of. It looks beautiful. Yummy. We're going to start with sour cream for the sauce. Um, I don't have enough sour cream, but luckily I have some Faye um, Greek yogurt. So that's going to go in there also. 
So if you don't have these ingredients, see what you do have to use for a dipping sauce. Because the whole point is this is a leftover meal. You should use what you have and you know figure it out. So if that means you have some salsa in the fridge, use some salsa. If you just want to use sour cream, just use sour cream. Okay, I have some cilantro I'm putting in there. I have a little bit of a jalapeno I had in my fridge. It was really shriveled up and a clo big clove of garlic and then some green onions and lime juice. Get as much of that juice out of there as you possibly can. Okay. I know I'm gonna need more lime. Why? Because I like lime. And to loosen this up a bit, I have a little liquid from my um, yogurt I'm gonna put in there to help loosen it. Make it a little less thick. I could have used milk, even a little water. Putting some salt in there. And then we're gonna set this in the fridge for at least a half hour to let all those flavors blend together. I will also be serving salsa though with this. Okay, so here we are. We still have all this chicken to get rid of. Um, my empanadas really didn't use a lot of chicken or rice. It was delicious. But what I'm gonna do now is turn it into a casserole. And um, I have some carrots steaming right now. And then I'm gonna put broccoli, peppers, onion, and mushrooms in it. Why? because that's what I had in my fridge. And then um, I'm a little embarrassed. I had a, can of cr I had a can of cream of mushroom soup. So I mixed that with some of my yogurt over there and then my trusty chicken bouillon there in the right. Oops, that's my your left-hand corner because it's my left-hand corner too. So we are making a casserole with all this deliciousness. So this is gonna be a uh, leftover dinner too with this whole chicken that um, just is not going away. I decided to saute my onions and peppers and mushrooms first, as well as steam my broccoli and carrots. This way, it won't take as long to cook in the oven. Okay, we'll put our onions and peppers and mushrooms in first. Get those blended in. One little broccoli in there. Okay, so then we're gonna put in some chicken. It's cut up small enough. This was a big chicken, but I guess it's just two people eating on it. So three meals, one chicken, three meals. I guess that's pretty good. We might even be able to get a chicken sandwich out of it tomorrow. Throw in some of this rice. Oh, this is gonna be delicious. What a good way to get rid of all my food, nothing is going to waste. Now, this could be a chicken pot pie and you could, um, if you have a store-bought crust, you can put on top or you can do like a bisquick or biscuit kind of crust. That would be tasty. Now we'll throw in our carrots and broccoli. And get this all blended. I think I might just go the cheese route top. Um, you could do a breadcrumb and drizzle with butter top. You could do breadcrumb and um, some cheese, breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese. I mean, there's, there's lots of options for this. Needs a little more salt, a little more pepper. I feel like it needs a little to be loosened up just a little. So I'm gonna put some of my husband's heavy cream for his coffee in there, just to loosen it up a little. Uh, there's not much left in there. We're just gonna put that on. That's probably like a quarter cup. Yeah, that definitely has loosened it up because your rice is gonna soak up some of the juices but your vegetables are still gonna give off some juices too. So it's kind of, you know, that happy medium. Oh my gosh, day three of chicken. And you know, 
It's not even gonna, you don't even notice you're eating the same chicken and rice. Okay, now to work on our topping. I decided to do something a little different. And what we're gonna do is we got our cheese. Cheese is salty, we don't need to salt that. But we are gonna put a little garlic powder in there. And then we are going to put in some panko crumbs. Now panko crumbs are um, a breadcrumb. They're a little different cut. Um, these aren't as flaky as I would like. Um, they're just a lighter breadcrumb, not so fine. Oh gosh, now that I see that, that looks like a lot of cheese. <laughs> All right, we may have to put some of this in the freezer. Um, yeah. Let's see if I have way too much cheese here. I might sprinkle a little breadcrumb on it also. Well, it doesn't look like I have too much cheese. It was just eight ounces. Yeah, I think we're good. Eight ounces did it. Wow, that looks tasty. And there's some breadcrumbs there. Okay, so that's that's the dealio. So maybe I'll put a little more breadcrumb on top. So I probably went, I don't know if that was a cup. You do what you want to do. It's leftovers. So to lid, to lid or not to lid? If I put the lid on, I'm going to steam it. Uh, steam is, it's gonna condense on here. It's gonna, the steam is gonna come on here and then it's gonna drip down. The water will drip down onto my breadcrumbs and make them mushy. So I'm not gonna put the lid on and we're gonna put it in a 350 degree oven for 20 minutes and we're gonna check on it. And maybe at that point, maybe then I'll wanna put the lid on. But for now, or maybe just tent it with some uh, tin foil, that way the steam could escape, um, but a little is staying in. So we will check on that. 10, well, 15 minutes we're gonna check on it. So 350 degree oven. Okay, we're out in the garage where my other oven is. It's uh, looking good. I'm leaving it as is, no lid. Put it in for another 15 minutes. Thanks so much for watching Kathy Cooks For You. If I didn't say it before, you can find the empanada wrappers in the freezer section at your grocery store. Usually there's a little section with some tropical stuff and that's where you'd find it. It'd be by the plantains. Maybe it's just because I live in Florida, I can find them so easily. But check out your freezer section for those empanada wrappers. And please subscribe below. Give me a thumbs up or a comment. I'd love to hear from you.